I'm out in the shop replacing the coil, or Ford would call coil on plug coil, on my 2013 Mustang GT with a 5 liter. But this applies to any Ford engine with the DG542, DG561, DG565, or DG559 coil. And that applies to any 2011 through 2021 5 liter and 2016 through 2022 5.2 liter engine. The coils on many of the six cylinders are very similar, so this video may also help you if you have a six cylinder. At Styles Automotive, I do general automotive work, modifications, and tips. If you found this video helpful, be sure to watch the other videos and please subscribe. Okay, you get started. I washed the engine and washed the car the night before, and I'm just going to blow it off with compressed air. I'm going to pay particular attention to the electrical connectors for the coils, making sure they're clean, because this is a, not a fair weather car, but it doesn't get driven in the salt, this Mustang. But on the F-150, if you've got the 5 liter, it's the same procedure for release, replacing the spark plugs, but if it's dirty here and it can collect dirt up in these pockets, you know, make sure you get those cleaned out so you're not getting any dirt down into your spark plug well and it'll make it easier to get these connectors apart. A detailed procedure on how to remove these coil covers, Styles Automotive Video, coil cover removal. The information's here on the screen and I'll also put a link in this video's description. I'm going to hit it with compressed air one more time after I have the coil covers off. To remove the coil connector, it has a locking tab on it and then a tab that you have to push in. So either a small regular screwdriver or a medium regular screwdriver to get underneath the red locking tab and push it up. And it should not pop all the way out. It should just pop up. Once you've done that, you can use the screwdriver, but you wanna push it down to release the pressure on the lock. and then push it in and then you should be able to feel it release and then just gently pry it up hands in the way for some of this but as my hand comes away you can see that the connectors released what I'm having problems with is this wiring harness the big bundle of wiring harness that's above it is not letting the connector go up I think there's only a couple connectors like this that are this bad the rest of them have a little bit of room and are easier to remove Remove the coil, just one eight millimeter head size bolt. And again, you could use an impact on this, but I prefer to use all hand tools when doing this job. And of course my car comes apart pretty easy. Five liter engines may need a screwdriver to help pry the coil up and out, but uh, my car is in such nice shape that it doesn't really require it. You can just pull the coils out with your hand. And that's the Ford Motorcraft coil.
give you a quick look down into the spark plug well. It's relatively clean, but we're going to blow it out one more time just to ensure that any uh, particles are blown out. I'm going to clean up this connector and the coil connector with electrical contact cleaner. And mine's really pretty clean already. But if yours is dirty, spend a little extra time and clean it good. And then of course, apply a little dielectric grease to the coil, both here in the boot and on the upper seal to keep it soft and so it seals good, keep moisture out. And then on the electrical connector, that'll help keep moisture out of the electrical connector and make it so it comes apart much easier the next time. I'm also gonna apply it here on the electrical connector to the face and just smear it around. And I'm just going to blow that well out one more time before I put the coil back in. And then the coil goes back in, connector up, I'll align the bowl hole. Push it in. Should seat nicely, especially with the new dielectric grease on it. Clean the 8mm head size bolt up with a wire brush and then a little anti-seize on it. That's just an eight millimeter head size, so it doesn't need much torque. And make sure your coil seated. And then the connector just goes back on. It's not a lot of room there. Just enough with the wiring harness and push it on until you hear a click and then attempt to pull it back off. I heard a good solid click on mine, so I know that it's it's there. So push it down, and then the lock goes back down in, and that'll click just a little bit too. And that's it. That is the coil replacement on cylinder number one. Let me give you a tip on one of the other cylinders. I didn't have to do anything special over on the left bank, but on the right bank here, for the number four cylinder, I had to remove the positive battery terminal because of this assembly to get the coil out. So before you remove the positive terminal, make sure you remove the negative. Always remove the negative first. So that concludes the video. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments and please subscribe. I look forward to your comments.